guys, coach the ball in here. Um, doing the drill that I do, put all the balls on the table, and um, try to run one suit, make the eight ball, try to run the next suit, run out, make the eight ball, and, and win the game. So I gotta run all the balls. Um, you don't have to be in order, but I wanna get my pattern. So my pattern right here would be one on the side, the three in the corner, seven ball, draw, draw out just a little bit, follow, make the five in this corner, roll forward, make the four in this corner, bounce out, come down here, make the six in this corner, and make the eight in the side. So that's my, uh, that's my pattern, and I can kind of see it. I could go with stripes first, but I want to go solids, because solids looks like it's a, a little easier opening shot. <clears throat> So here goes, I'm gonna go uh, one ball first. And I do this a lot, and it's just like slow rolling drills, getting the ball soft. I got a little bit of angle on the uh, penny ball, but that's okay. I just wanna draw and hold it. I don't wanna leave myself too big of an angle because then I have to change my plan. Now if you have to change your plan, that's okay. But I think I think I can still stay good on the seven even with a tiny bit of an angle. And I'm just gonna hit a little nip draw. See? So I hit, and it's okay. I hit the, the draw just a little bit too hard. I rode a little bit too far. And gave myself too big of an angle on the seven, but that's all right. I can I can change my plan just a little. I can go five, and then go four, two, come out seven, six, eight. So my plan changed, and your plans are going to change if you have two revolutions of the cue ball, and you get out of your intended your intended route. But you just change. path and see what happens this one I got a tiny angle I can hit it soft and I can get to right here and it gives me enough angle to come off the rail and back out and shoot the seven inside so I'm good I just I got to hit this really gentle and soft <clears throat> don't want to get behind the 11 don't want to leave myself too big of an angle just a, a workable angle just to come off the rail. Notice I hit that really soft. So now I have a little bit of an angle. I'll just get a stun, like a, like a stop shot, come off the rail and back out. So my desired, a perfect target would be somewhere between this diamond and the, and the side pocket, uh, right? So even if I'm here, I'm okay because I can roll up and still make the six. But if I can get right here in this area, so I got a big, a big landing area to get in. Um, anyway, shouldn't be difficult. I'll just make the make the two. Make sure that I come out toward the middle of the table. Just roll down. My, my rails are real fast and bouncy. That left me. That left me perfect. Now I can just follow, and I can even get up against the rail. That that, that creates a, a really easy shot on the six, and allows me to come out just a little bit and make the eight in the side. So not a hard shot. Just take my time. Also connected. Six and make the six. Bounce out to here, make the eight and sock. So really simple, really simple. Just take my time, don't miss an easy shot. Take your time on these easy shots. Now I got the eight, the eight and sock. And this drill is really good for just kind of seeing your patterns and shooting the balls that are connected, right? So now I'll make the eight, eight and side for the first win. 
what I do is, is I'll put that eight ball back approximately where it was at. So we'll say I'll, I'll stick it right there. All right, so it leaves an easy shot on the eight ball to get on. So here, like there's, here's what happens in, in a match, and it happened the other night in, in my match that I was playing. My opponent, he had some good runs, and he would make four or five balls, sometimes six balls, and get down to his last two balls and and get himself into trouble. And I kind of saw his trouble early on when he started his run, and he didn't attack his problems. And because of that, he left himself in positions where he couldn't get out. And as soon as he did that, as soon as he did that, I knew that the table was going to be widespread, and so the run was going to be pretty easy. So this opening shot, I don't want to shoot the 12 because I don't want to jack up over the 8 and take a chance on missing. All I want to do is make that 13 come out, come out to the middle. So I have several options. All right, so what I like to do is I like to shoot. Like, I like to try to get these four balls if I can, maybe even these, these five balls on this side of the table and get rid of them before I go ahead and attack these two balls. That's what I like to do. I like to keep it simple, shoot my short shots, and uh, see if I can get out. So I'm gonna go 13, bounce out, right? So I'm, then I'm gonna go 10, bounce out, either shoot the 15 or the 12, and then the 14. Preferably, preferably, I'll go 15, I'll go 15, 12, 14, 11, 9. Uh, anyway, that's that's quite a far out, but in eight ball, you got you got options, right? So just don't get in trouble. Like I'm gonna try to keep the ball to the middle of the table. So that one I rolled a little bit farther than I want. I can shoot the 10, but I gotta shoot it like really, really soft. So what I'll do is is because I didn't get because I didn't get perfect on the 10, I wanted to be more over here, less angle, I could bounce up, shoot the 14, or shoot the 15 or whatever. But now I'll just I'll just change my pad just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I'll tell you what. Lots of options. I got lots of easy shots. 15 balls an easy shot, but I roll this, I may end up down here. I don't, I don't know that I want to be here because I might even get jacked up over that nine. So, I think, I think, I'll stay with my initial plan. I'll stay with that 10 ball, just hit a straight ball, bounce off, come out to here and shoot the 12 ball. Or the 15. I'm either trying to get on the 15 or the 12. Yeah. See how bouncy my rails are. I hit it, hit it really fast. It's okay. Just made it a little more difficult. So I can shoot, still shoot the 12. <clears throat> if I hit this with top and follow, I may be able to come off and still be able to shoot that 14 on my next shot. Or I can shoot the 15 inside. So that would be a plan, but I really didn't want to come all the way on the other end of the table. But I'm okay. tiny bit of an angle on the 14, I can hit the rail, bounce out, shoot the 15, and then I can shoot 11 and go 9. So we'll go with that pattern. It still looks fairly doable. All right, so I'll just hit a little stone with a little bit of left spin, give myself an angle. Probably hit it a little bit harder than I wanted to. Now see, so now this is since I didn't get perfectly in line, I wanted to get my cue ball more out here to give myself a better angle on the 15. Now, I can do one of two things. I can just make the 15, and then my ball will roll down, hit the rail, and come back out, and I can still get on the nine or the 11. So I'm still okay. Um, just having to move the cue ball just a little bit more. So this is why you, you have to try to stay in line, 
right? So you have to stay in line so you don't have to do too much. And that's just about perfect. Just about perfect. So all I got here, I'm kind of straight on the left, so I really can't use the rail. I could, I could cut the nine. I could cut the nine. That leaves me a little bit tougher shot. I think the easy shot is to just uh, shoot the 11 ball and draw back just a tiny bit and about where my cue ball is, maybe just a little bit, maybe just a little bit somewhere, maybe a ball or two balls back here behind where my cue ball is now. Should leave me a, an easy shot. Now, I don't want to draw this too much because if I draw this too much and I don't hit it perfect, I could slide over and get behind the eight. So I'm not going to try to do a whole lot with it, just a little baby draw. Just a little baby draw, not too much. Not too much. And because I was afraid to draw that ball too much, you know, I, 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 I kind of came short of my mark about two balls. Two balls would left me really good, but I'm still fine. I'll just hit just straight draw. This ball's going to come and hit this rail and bounce out, and it should leave me an easy shot. The eight in the corner. Now, I'm not even going to use any spin. So you could, I could use left spin, but my rails are so fast, I use left spin. It could hit that rail and bounce all the way down to here. And I could get like no man's land with the eight ball, but if I hit a, a straight draw. Cue ball will, it will be soft when it hits that rail and it's not going to get away from me. I've kind of learned this, I've kind of learned to do this shot with practice. Got to make sure I make it. Hit the rail. <clears throat> Leads me straight in on the eight. Leads me straight in on the eight. I do it. That's how I do it. And I'll, I'll do that drill like over and over, like a whole bunch of times. Like, I just put balls out on the table and I don't tie anything up. I don't tie anything up. I just put them out. Figure out a pattern. Figure out a pattern. And try to run out. And here we, here we go. This is a set number two. I may or may not make it out. All right, depends on how good I'm shooting. I really didn't have any warm up, so I'm kind of shooting kind of cold. <clears throat> but I thought today that I would uh, do this video and show you. And I, a few months ago, I was really struggling in my eight ball game. And I would tell people I hate playing eight ball. When I play eight ball, it's just. It's a grind for me, and um, and then I started shooting these this pattern game, where it causes me to to use my brain a little more and, and to think and and not not get myself out of position. So anyway, I'll try again. I'll shoot the eleven. Hopefully, I'll have a decent shot on the nine. So my goal here, the fourteen is going to be tough. And if I if I attack this side of the table, this side of the table, getting from the, the, the 15 to the 14 may be tough because you have this eight ball right here. Maybe if I'm this angle, I can hit here and stun and go between the eight and the 14. Not sure. So it looks like it looks like um, my stripes could be could present a problem for me. So maybe I can think of another path, right? Or think of another path. And really, I don't have a very good open shot on anything. So if I'm shooting stripes, I'm going to have to shoot the one ball. So that's going to be have to be my plan. So if I hit a perfect stop shot and I'm right here, I'm almost going to be straight in on that nine. I don't know that that be a good angle. Maybe it will. Maybe if I hit there and I get straight in. Maybe I need a little angle nine ball. I know what I'm gonna do. I'll, I'll hit a stop shot on the 11, stop shot on the nine, and I'll cut that 15. 
I'll cut the 15. So that's what I'll do. That's my plan. So here, I'm not perfectly straight in. And it's a tiny bit of an angle. It's a, I got a tiny angle. So I may want to I may want to rethink my plan. I can stun the ball, but I might have to hit it hard to bounce off the rail. Or I could jack up and cut that 15 ball and try to get behind the 14. I think that might be a better play. And then that, that way, if I run into something, I have the nine ball just, just in case. And I don't get it hooked. All right, so. I'm going to try to try to do that. So this, this shot takes a little care because when you jack up, you you have a chance to miss. So I'm just going to hit a soft little stun draw. That time, that's what you get. That time I ran into the 14, which is okay. I can still make the 14 in the side providing I get the 12 ball out of the way. So I have some options. I have an angle on this nine. I can hit this rail and bounce out, shoot the 14 in the corner. So I think, I think that would be my best suit. But what I want to do is I got to make the 10 here because it doesn't go in any other pocket. So that I need to use that 12 to get here. If I can get here, then I can make the 10 and make the 13. Anyway, try to maneuver around these balls. And what you don't want to do is when your balls are shut, you don't want to run into balls. Because then when you run into them, they end up getting right next to another ball, which makes it tough. <clears throat> but I'm going to see if I can cut this nine. I'm going to use some outside English. I'm going to throw it a little bit, and then it will enable me to come off the rail. Fourteen will go in the corner, so I have options. Ten still doesn't go here. Fourteen in the corner. I could cheat this pocket and, and roll to here, but if I don't, I don't leave myself an angle that I'm going to get stuck. If I if I if I'm short and I get on this side of the ten, I get the wrong side. It's going to leave me a long shot on that fourteen. Anyway, I think. Just looking at it, that might be my best option. Now, definitely the, the 13 is not going to allow me to get on the 10 because I got to get on this side of the ball. All right, got to get on this side. I think right now I have a good opportunity. So my problem ball right now is the 10 ball. So I have a good opportunity. I'll have to cheat the pocket and I'll have to make the, the 12 ball on this side of the pocket so I can get my cue ball. I really want to get my cue ball like right here before that diamond. So well, that's my that's my target area, and uh, and just gotta have a little bit of a touch and get it there. Just gotta cheat it a little bit. Should have I should have hit a draw shot right there. Should have hit a draw shot. So now it's it's not over. I still have a cut on the 14. I can use the three ball to stop it and make the 13, but this 10 ball is gonna be really difficult. I could, I could cut the 13, but my cue ball is gonna kind of get away from me. Really, really gonna be difficult to get behind this 10 ball. We'll see. <sighs> what do I want? What do I want? This is why I kind of like this game. It kind of makes me think when I do get in trouble, because trust me, I get in trouble just like all of you guys do. Huh. If I try to cut the 10 ball and jack up over the seven, that's not a good shot. That 10 ball is almost in no man's land with that four ball in the way. If I roll, 
I make the 14, I, I probably make the three ball as well, but my cue ball should stop right there. I can use the three ball to hold the, to hold the cue ball. If it holds it right there, that leaves me a little bit of an angle, I might be able to draw over and get behind this 10. But probably, even though it's a difficult shot, that's probably my best scenario for getting out. So I just kind of see where I got to hit it. My brain kind of kind of knows the angle here. So I just got to make sure I make it. Make sure I make it. So I made the three. I made my four two, but I also made the three. So this is where it's going to require some touch here. So. I'm thinking a, a draw and I'm not going to be able to hold it. My reel's so fast, I'm not going to be able to hold it. But I might be able to cut the 13, run into the 4. My cue ball just drifts a little bit, and I have the 10 on the side. All right, so but that's going to require a pretty good draw. If I look at my tangent line, my tangent line is going to run me right into the 4. So if I make it, and if I hit the middle of the pocket, so sometimes I'll take my stick and I'll set it like right here, straight into that pocket, and straight stop shot hits that four ball. So that would be a perfect scenario, providing I make I make the thirteen. All right. So again, I'm using the other ball to stop my key ball. Hopefully, it'll hold right there, and I can shoot that ten in the side. So that's my plan. I want to hold my draw. So if I hit follow, if I hit follow, I want to run into the five. So I got to make sure that I hold my draw and I nip it just enough. Well, I hit the four. I didn't hit the four as full as I wanted to, which left me. Not a good shot, because I don't know if the 10 ball goes. All right, so automatically that 10 ball is going to be a tough ball to be on to begin with. <clears throat> Can't really play safe right here. Maybe if I hit it soft enough, if I hit it soft enough, I might be able to just barely hit that, that tip on that corner pocket, and maybe it, it rolls in. I don't know. I'm thinking it probably doesn't. at it. I don't have much room. Anyway, I'm going to try. I hit it soft. Maybe I can make it. And if I, I miss it, then I'll just go ahead and shoot all of uh, the solids and see if I can get out from there. But this, like that, that position shot probably cost me the game. Because it doesn't look like I have a very good chance of making this 10 ball. I almost have to hit it perfect. Almost have to hit it perfect. Let me see. Just gotta barely miss the eight ball, hit it soft. And I missed it. <clears throat> Alright, so I didn't get out. I didn't get out. So now I'm gonna shoot the solids and see if I can see if I can run out. So I'm gonna keep it simple again. <clears throat> I can make the two ball. I can make the two ball and still be okay. So that's what I'll do. I'll make the two ball. Yeah, make the two. Then I'm gonna just keep it simple. I'm just gonna roll softly, roll down, shoot the one in the corner, and then the five in that same corner as the four ball. Leave myself a tiny angle. Shoot the one in the corner, the five in this corner. Shoot the seven in the side. Six in the corner, eight in that corner. So yeah, that's uh, it. Looks fairly simple. Looks fairly simple. I'm gonna try to stay off the rail though. I may come out just a little bit. Shoot the five ball, but I rolled 
too hard, too far. Probably wasn't a good idea to try to come off the rail. But I have an angle on the seven. I can shoot the seven in the side, still bounce out to here and shoot the five. So almost nine times out of 10, your plan will deviate when you shoot a bow, when you have multiple bowls. But, they, but you have choices, right? So you don't, you don't have to take, you don't have to stick to one plan all the time. You can change. try to still run out. So the 10 ball there, so that means the eight ball can't go on this side, can't go in that corner. The eight only goes in that corner, or if you get behind it, it can go in this corner. So you gotta kinda know where you can make the eight ball. Just looking three balls out. So I think I can just bounce off the rail and stay at this angle. And maybe even shoot the ball somewhere from this area or at a tiny angle that I can just hit I'm going to draw and be straight in on the eight ball. So that's my plan. You always, I, I think you always have to have like a, a three ball plan and try to, try to, try to uh, be successful on that three ball plan. Now, that's okay, it's straight. I just have to hit a tiny draw, baby draw. Even if it rolls back six inches, I'll have a decent shot on the eight ball, right? So if I if I hit it perfect, I'll be straight. And if I draw it back a little bit too much, I still have I still have a cut in the corner pocket. So not hard. My main thing right here is I just want to make that six ball with just a little bit of a draw a draw stroke, a little bit of a draw stroke, and so. Still got to be solid on this shot. That ball drew back about four or five inches. Left me a, an easy shot on the eight. So now I can just get out, make the eight ball and get out. And that's what happens in your matches. Your opponent tries to run out, he messes up. And then you have all of your balls with Nothing in the way, and you just run it out. And I miss it. Anyway, that's eight ball, dead gun. My pockets are tied. That ball hung up on me. Should have been out. Should have been out. I wasn't. And I'll shoot him until I make it. That game, that game wasn't successful, right? So it wasn't a, a successful game. That's why I practice. And, uh, it's kind of, I'm not an expert at sort of talking and shooting and trying to run balls. I had some, I had some decent shots, but I didn't, uh, I didn't execute. I didn't execute and um, made some mistakes. So that's why I do this drill. Um, I'm not perfect at it, but the more I do it, the easier it gets. And I just kind of tell you these things because I'm just kind of letting you know what I think about. All right, so I'll go strike, so I'll go 15, try to come out and shoot the 11. Got on the 11, I'm a little bit close to it, but I got on it. I think that I could probably get on that 13 from this 11. I wasn't so close, I might be able to draw straight over just a tiny bit. It's always kind of hard to maneuver your cue ball when you get right close to another ball. I'm gonna go right spin off the rail, off this rail, and back out a tiny bit. I think. Well, I've got to reach, so that's not ever gonna be good. So not an easy uh, shot. 
just look at my table. Can't quite hit the, make the 10 ball, but I think I can make 13 roll down to the middle rail and back out and still have a shot on the nine or the 10, depending on how soft I hit it. Oh, I'm just gonna be soft. I'm gonna be really soft. Roll it in. the cool thing about eight ball is you always have like you always have a lot of options. I mean very seldom do you not have options. So I think I think I could make the 12 but that's too big of an angle. I could go make it inside spin back out but that's kind of risky. I got a little bit off angle on the nine almost straight in but I think I'm I have enough angle where I can come back out and shoot the 10 ball and possibly the 12. If I get straight on the 10, I can make the 12, make the 14, and get on that 8 ball. Alright, so we've got 9 ball. Did you get a good shot on the 10? Stop right there. I might be able to go stop, stop, stun, a ball on the side. So that's my pattern. Right now, I just don't want to get behind this three ball. If I get behind it, maybe I still have a shot with 14, but I don't want to be doing too much. So it's going to be a really soft stop shot because I, I don't want that ball to get behind the three ball. I'm perfect. Right here, if I stop it. So what I do is I, I'll get it to this ball and see it on a stop shot, where am I at? So stop shot, as long as I don't draw it, I have a tiny angle. <clears throat> and I may hit like a like a, a middle ball where it doesn't come back at all, and maybe it just replaces and it rolls forward, maybe a ball. And then that leaves me perfect on that 14. So that would be a shot that that I practice and if I, I can't hit any draw spin so I, I'm hitting this just a stop replacement stop shot and see how that ball just rolled forward like one revolution that leaves me a perfect angle on the 14 and now it's just a stun shot over and I have the 8 in the side <clears throat> so that was a, an, a fairly easy run no problems just don't want to get behind the behind the four ball here. And this I just take care of getting that. There it was. That leaves me an easy shot on the eight. I'm able to, I should be able to get out. Let's make this shot. If I ran that one out, I'm gonna put this cue ball. I'll set the cue ball right there on the spot. I'll try to get the position on, on that eight ball to win. <clears throat> so an easy shot to get on that eight ball would be the three ball, a good setup shot. So I'll make the three in the side and I have a perfect shot on the eight ball. So I can leave the three ball where it is or I can shoot the two ball, but I think, I think if I can leave that three ball there <clears throat> and just maneuver these balls, Right, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna try to do is make the one, stop, make the five come out, across, maybe make the four, make the seven. Yeah, so I got, I got a plan, so I, I gotta hit a good stop shot right here on the one. Stop right there. So now, because I, I had a little bit of a draw spin. So now I can go ahead and, and what I'll do is if my cue ball and the object bar are pretty close together and I don't really change my, my shape very much, I'll go ahead and get that, eliminate that ball and get it out of the way because I don't need it, right? So like right here, I can just hit a stop on the seven and still get on the four pretty easy. Just hit the 
bit soft, a little bit outside spin, hit the rail, come out. I can either make the four, or if I come too far, I can make the six and the two. Either way, either way, that's a that's a good layout. All right, so I just got to hit the soft, come off the rail. So I hit that kind of soft, came off the rail, but, but my four ball was my was was the ball that I was trying to get on. If I hit it too far, then I have the six and the two, and then the four. But now I'll just draw back. Should be able to make the two, make the six, make the three, make the eight in the corner, all right? So that's a, a pretty good plan. Just don't wanna draw this too far. Just wanna draw it back, just kinda give myself a little flatter angle. Could shoot three ball here, but there's no need to. I can hit a soft stop shot right there, make the two in the corner, make the six in this corner. Don't want to get, I don't want to get out here. If I hit this too hard and I bounce out here, it leaves me a little bit of angle. And say, not, not impossible to make, but I think I can keep this fairly simple if I just hit a really soft, a really soft draw shot. Really soft, just make it. Both farther than I am. If I'm still okay, I can just hit straight metal and make it. So now I'm, I'm having to do a little more with the cue ball than I want, but it's okay. All right, so um, go on to plan B. A little bit more movement with the cue ball. A little bit more movement with the cue ball. Got to make the six. picture I had in my head is what it started with the first shot I didn't draw it back far enough didn't leave myself flat enough for this shot in the corner so I wanted to stay flat flat straight in easy shot made but well, now I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm good right so now it's just I'm not even going to hit a stun so sometimes I've tried to do this in the past I'm to hit a soft stun so what happens I got a tiny angle and then it rolls and it leaks and then I get down here and it leaves a tough shot but I found that if I just hit this tiny, even if it has a tiny bit of an angle, if it's tiny, that object ball, that three ball, will stop the cue ball if I just hit it soft enough. And now that leads me straight in on the eight. Straight in on the eight. You know, most uh, good players aren't going to miss this shot very often. Not saying I'll make it a hundred times in a row, but I'll make it most of the time. Anyway, guys, uh, there's three pattern drills I did, eight ball drills. Uh, putting all the balls out on the table, trying to think my way through my runs, trying to get on balls, trying to keep everything simple. Easy shots both times on the eight balls. And so what I did is I, I had a plan that I want, the ball that I wanted to make last to make it the easiest shot to get on the eight ball, and which I did in, in, in just about every uh, scenario. Even though I messed up, I, I messed up the middle game, you know, I was able to run out the first half and then I, I, I missed that second half. Uh, just one miss in that deal where I where actually I got out of shape and out of the line and was able to run out. But anyway, that's kind of how I do it. Um, that that game right there and that drill makes me makes me a lot better, right? So when I when I can consistently put these balls out and run racks in a row, and I've made I've run that out as much as five or six times in a row without missing. All the stripes, all the solids, eight ball each time. And I really think that it has an effect on my nine ball game. It really does. So anyway, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, try this drill out. Try this drill out. I shoot tons and tons of alignment, stroke drills, string drills, draws, falls. I do all that. But 
I do have to do these other drills that allow me to uh, control the cue ball. All right, so control the cue ball. Your opponent makes a mistake, makes the majority of his balls, clears the table, and um, you have an easy run. You just have to think about it, slow down, figure out your patterns, and, um, and just run out and beat them, right? So I did it in my last match. I did it several times. Enabled me to win several games. Um, and just uh, capitalizing on a mistake, right? Anyway, you guys take care, and uh, I'll see you next time with my next video. See ya.